Hey guys, it's Ben from Idiots Play Games. Today I'm giving you my Bionic Strike Mecha Freezer deck profile, which I like to <laughs> which I like to call my Mecha Veggies Death and Taxes. Um, I feel like this deck would have been one of the strongest decks in the format until I saw that other deck profile, the one that we showed earlier, which is the um, Universe 7 Mecha Freezer. So we'll get right into it. We play four Bridge to the Future Trunks. Um, the fact that you can just look at the top, like 80% of your deck is just Saiyans, so therefore itself is just really strong. Um, it's your only one drop draw for the deck, but that's kind of okay. For the early game, you really just want to mulligan into your early green, just so you can get the carpers down. Um, I play four Unstoppable, Abom uh, uh, yeah, Unstoppable Ambition uh, Super Saiyan Colifer. Um, this card isn't that great because if you have it... Um, like if you you can't get multiples down because you're playing Mecha Freezer, Mecha Freezer will just help you with like you know being up to the gate and all that. This card here, you just need to get one on the field. That's it, and the rest is just mana in my mind. Um, I play three Saint Tietmo Carver. Um, this Carver is still probably the strongest card in this game. I only play three because I only care about playing three. I only like to sit with two on board. Um, late game, it sometimes can brick you a little bit, but. You can play four if you want, but I only like to play three. And of course we play one of the best cards in the deck, Hidden Awakening Kale. Everyone knows what Kale does at this point. Uh, there's no point explaining this card itself. But yeah, this card is so strong. I play three Shigesh and I'll play one Dodoria. Um, just in case we have to out combo something. Um, like Dodoria by itself, just having it at one is okay. Like you'll probably just hate me playing the one Dodoria, but Three Shigesh, one Dodoria is always what I've felt is the better one. Um, so yeah, I play four Sister Attack Kale. Um, if you don't know this card, when you attack with this and you have another Universe 6 on the field, um, you draw a card and gain 5k. Um, very strong card. I play four Super Saiyan, two Colifer. Um, this is like your new Carver for the deck. Um, so if you don't know this, you look at the top 7 and play um, 1 Universe 7 with uh, 1500 or less, which both these ones are. Uh, the the, the Colifer isn't, but you don't need to worry about that. Like getting this card turn 2, then getting it off this, and then bringing out one of these or one of these is just the strongest turn 2 this game has seen in my opinion. I play 4 Impeccable Super Saiyan Kaba. Um, this card is really strong, it cannot be negated. Um, there's a red deck profile that I was playing earlier that was playing like um, like this Vegeta here. Like you swing with this, they can't negate it. Then um, you restand it, give it 10k, but we don't play it in this because you ha this for this your leader has to be red. But um, by itself, this card just can't be negated. It's so strong because they just push everything down. Um, and I play two Marseille just to like even everything out because you just want to be able to remove as much as you can. I play... Four Flying Nimbus. Flying Nimbus is hands down the best negate in the game currently, um, other than Cold Bloodlust. But um, no real point explaining what Nimbus does. It just wins your games. Play four Cold Bloodlust. Cold Bloodlust is probably the second best negate in the game. The fact uh, you can just get rid of their like their their Kales or their sh like you know whatever they should get out is so strong. I still like playing two um, Kid Gokus. This thing will kill off the um, what's it called? The the UI Goku. Like they'll put everything into it, and then you just Kid Goku them out, and they lose. I play four Cold Hearted Strike Freezer. Um, like I never resolve this effect. Um, when I put this on the field, I'm usually only ditching itself to evolve for the other one. If not, I'll just straight drop the other one. But um, I've never used the effect to this, just it being dual attack is good enough by itself. If you're not your first in yellow, you're like, you can try and pipe a few things down. Um, but I usually don't, I just usually evolve straight into it. And then, most broken card in the game, uh, the Freezer Emperor of Universe 7. Um, there's no real point explaining this card. It just wins games. It crits your opponent for playing cards. Um, my opinion, that's probably something that should be in this game, as I said in the other deck profile, but here it is. That's it for the deck profile. Um, I find this deck is like kind of perfectly even 
as far as like mana goes and all that. Maybe like playing at like two more reds might help that like reds that you can just man it down easy but with decks like this it it's it's a weird mix where it's cards that you don't want to put in your mana there's cards you do want to put in your mana but you never really have it at the right time of course that's just how this game is so yeah that's it for the deck profile guys i hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one mert fucked me up to start with oi mert you can't I thought you said dog. No, I said god. Same thing. Oh. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> 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 Why would I call you a dog when you're a goat?